If you're looking to start a budget for the very first time and you don't know where to begin, this video is for you. Hey guys, thanks for coming over to my channel. My name is Allison with Baby Stepping to Freedom where I talk to you about working towards a life of freedom through intentional living and working on your finances. And this video is important if you are just starting out. You know what, it's important even if you're not just starting out because the budget is the number one thing that can make or break your financial future. Without a budget, I just don't even know like how people survive without a budget. The budget is so important and making sure that you have a budget that works for you is even more important. So if you're just getting started, make a budget and these are some very basic steps to get your very first budget up and running. So the kind of budget that I'm going to talk about is a zero based budget. You might hear that term zero based budget kind of thrown around often. And what that means is it's a budget where all your money is accounted for. It does not mean that you have zero dollars in your bank account. That is a misconception that people think often. You have money in your bank account. It just has a purpose and that purpose is a buffer. It's not, well, I'm gonna like maybe spend this money or maybe not. No, it's a buffer and that is meant for whoopsie daisy. I'm glad I had that money there because this thing came out that I forgot about or this thing came up or whatever it is. Buffer is there and that's the purpose. Still a zero based budget with a buffer. So a zero based budget is huge because it tells you exactly where your money is going. And by it, you are telling your money exactly where to go. You know every single thing that you're spending your money on because you told your budget to do that. You are on top of all of your expenses because you wrote this zero based budget and it gives you the freedom to spend and not be worried about if you have money for something or stressed about if you should spend the money or not because you already put money into something for that purpose there's no question there's no guilt it's guilt free spending when you have a budget budgets kind of have a bad rep because it's like like, why do I need a budget? I'm not poor. No, you should have a budget, especially if you're not poor, because that is how you can build your financial freedom. Okay, I'm sorry, getting a little worked up here about budgets because it just drives me insane when people are like, oh, I don't need a budget. Anyways, I'm not gonna get all passionate about budgets other than saying, if you don't have a budget, you need one like yesterday. So step one, in creating your very first budget is you need to list out all of your expenses that are recurring every month. Things like rent or mortgage, utilities, insurance, car payments, any other sort like credit card payments, childcare, all of those things that come every single month, list those things out because you gotta pay your bills. After that is other spending categories like groceries, pet care, home and car maintenance, um, gas, anything that, that you spend your money on throughout the month also needs to be listed there. So a tip while you're trying to figure out how much, like how much do I budget for groceries when I've never even thought about how much I'm spending on groceries, sit down, look at all of your bank statements, credit card statements, debit card statements, whatever you're using to buy things, specifically that that thing. So if you always use a credit card to buy gas or your debit card to buy groceries, sit down and look at how much you're spending each month in that area. So sometimes groceries are hard because you might go to a store that sells like clothes and food or something like that. But take a general guesstimate of how much you're spending based on those statements each month and then kind of make a guess on your first budget from there of how much you're going to need. Keep in mind that usually when you have no budget, you are spending more than you really need. So if you look at your uh, bank statement and it says $900 a month at Walmart and you're like, well, I know some of that is clothes and some of that is, you know, ran toys, but maybe 600 of that is groceries and I know of those groceries 
really a lot of those things are unnecessary things that I don't need. So maybe I need $500 a month for groceries, or you can say, I'm just gonna shoot for $600 this month and then see how I do next month. So it's kind of a guessing game in the beginning, especially when you've never really kept track of what you're spending your money on. You just kind of have to make a shot in the dark and hope that you're like in the general area. So after you've listed out all your payments, all of your expenses, then you can subtract your expenses from your income and hope that it's still a positive number. If it's not a positive number, you gotta go back and change some of those other expenses, things that you can change. Work on getting rid of unnecessary subscriptions, cable, um, excess things on your cell phone plan, Netflix, all of those things that aren't required get rid of those especially if you're negative other things you can do is cut down on groceries or other expenses like that just make it a little bit smaller of a budget category for the time being while you're in the red and work on getting that back to where you want slash need it in the future if you have a positive number after you have worked out your whole budget, then you can take that money and put it towards debt or savings or whatever you're working towards in that moment. I mentioned this in the beginning, but make sure you're working a buffer into your budget because the first few months there are always going to be things that you under budget for or forgot about. It's like, oh man, I forgot about that subscription that's coming out. Well, that's why you have a buffer. And in the beginning, you want your buffer to be a little bit bigger because there will definitely be things that you forget about or you under budget for that are going to cause a lot of stress. So make that buffer part of your budget and so it's there and can help you stay afloat while you're working out and fine tuning your first few months of budgeting. One thing that people do when they're first starting a budget is instead of making a payment with the money that is remaining after the budget, like an, an immediate payment, what they might do is wait a couple weeks, put that money somewhere so you don't spend it, that's important, but as a little bit of a safety net because it's for sure something is going to come up that makes you feel like, ah, this is why I don't budget because it's so stressful. Well, if you have a bigger buffer or you wait to make that first step payment, you can kind of work on fine tuning your budget as you go. A budget typically takes three months to be able to really figure out. You are not going to have a solid, fully covered budget your first month, even your first two months, usually not even your first three months. It takes time to make sure that everything is accounted for and figure out where you're spending your money. So prepare for that, mentally prepare for that so you don't give up right away and also financially prepare for that with a bigger buffer or waiting on making that debt payment. The last tip I have when making your very first budget is make a budget that works for you. Just don't cut out all these things. I mean, unless you absolutely have to, don't cut out things that you know are gonna make you feel miserable and give up on budgeting. It is better to have some unnecessary expenses in your budget if you can, than give up on your budget and just go all out and say, screw it, I'm done with this. So work things into your budget. One thing that we have worked into our budget is we know 100% Every month we are going to want to go out to eat, whether it's some sort of event or whether it's I'm lazy and tired and I don't want to cook dinner tonight. That happens every single month and we're lying to ourselves if we say no, we're not going to budget any money for restaurants because we're not going to go out to eat. What's going to happen is we are going to steal money from other areas, steal money from our groceries or steal money from our gas and go out to eat. So instead we just say let's just give ourselves money for restaurants and going out to eat and quit lying to ourselves that it's not gonna happen when we know for sure that it's gonna happen because it's just setting ourselves up for failure when we say something's not gonna happen when we know it's gonna happen, right? So if you like really need cable and you're like, I'm going to be miserable without cable and you have extra money in your budget to be able to keep cable, then just keep the cable. 
Or maybe after you start budgeting, your priorities will change and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't really want to spend $75, $150 on cable every month when I could be sending that to debt. So your priorities change throughout your budgeting journey, but make sure that you're creating a budget that actually works for you or you're going to fail and you don't want that. So set yourself up for success so you don't give up. So I hope this video helped you in kind of wrapping your mind around where to start when you're creating your first budget. If you are very new to budgeting and you are working on building that very first budget, leave me a comment down below and let me know if this is helpful, if there are any other things that you feel are important to know when someone is starting their very first budget and it might help other people who are working this process as well. While you're down there, make sure you press that red subscribe button so you get notifications for when all of my new videos come out. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.